Hello my loves and welcome back. Today I'm going to be coming to you guys with a quick haul. I have gone to CVS, Walgreens and Bed Bath & Beyond and picked up a few things. Not like I need to be shopping, but I'm just saying. I'm going to get started with my uh, Walgreens haul. Now I picked up the Studio 35 razors and these I use for like the face and for my brows and stuff like that whenever I need to touch up and you know clean up some areas before I apply some makeup so the next thing I got was an elf mineral infused face primer and I haven't tried it yet I'm I don't know what I'm waiting for honestly I'm trying to find primers and I do have the mineralized primer in my kit and I use it on my clients and I love it I've used it on myself as well and I do quite enjoy it so I saw this for I think it was over 50% off I think this was like a dollar 99 or something like that and this is six dollars so I picked this up at Walgreens because they were having a clearance so I'm happy with that it does go on purple but it goes on it blends out clear and it's just supposed to kind of balance out the imperfections on your face. So the next thing I picked up was the e.l.f. Small Angled Brush. And this was also on clearance. And I think I only paid $1.50 for it. And I have two of these in my personal collection. And this is kind of like a backup. So I love using this for my brows. This is like the perfect brow pencil it's not too big it's not too little and it is not too thick or thin it is like perfect if you're looking for a brow brush definitely recommend the ang the small angled brush by elf so i ended up picking up the nyc liquid eyeliner and this one is in black i've seen some youtubers use this along with some of my friends love this stuff i have it on my eyes today i did achieve a nice wing look now i'm just gonna kind of swatch it for you guys um it is very pigmented and the brush you can go as thin or as thick as you like it is a watery consistency but it dries to a matte which i like i love using this for looks that i might not be wearing for a long time um, my eyes naturally water so the moment that i go to clean my eyes off this goes right along with it but it's only like two dollars so you can't really go wrong with this a lot of people use this I tend to find that it kind of, maybe because my eyes have been really dry lately because I have been sick here and there, I find that it burns like on top of my eyelid. It just starts burning a little bit and then it goes away but I don't like that. So I noticed it the few times that I used this that it does tend to sting a little so I don't know. I used this a long long time ago and I don't remember ever feeling like a burning sensation but I picked this up for days that I'm doing quick looks just trying to get a wing liner and and just go about my days so I went to Bed Bath & Beyond just to pretty much go about and browse and just kind of see what's new out there because Bed Bath & Beyond seems to get like new release of products before any of the drugstores do and Walmart pff, that's like the last place I will ever look for a new release of any item because I never see them they suck in my area they suck so I had my 20% off coupons and $5 off coupons so I was like if I find something that I like there I'm going to save so the first thing I came across was the Earth Therapeutics Preciso Beauty Blending Sponge and this looks oddly familiar doesn't it now I picked up one recently from Marshalls and is the Precision Blending Brush but of course I saw this one and it looks a lot more similar to the um, Beauty Blender at least the shape of it does I also came across the new Maybelline mascara the Lash Sensational and I have been testing this out for a little over a week now yeah a little over a week and I I'm wearing it today and I have to say I actually like it it's not the typical kind of wand that I like I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so that is the wand it has some spikes right here and it curves so far so good and I actually seen this now at Walgreens and CVS this week so but I first spotted it at Bed Bath & Beyond so that's not bad so the last thing I got at Bed Bath & Beyond I'm super excited to try I haven't opened it yet because I was waiting to show you guys and it is the limited edition design real techniques NYX picks brushes look at that 
<laughs> it comes with five brushes and I think it's $29.99. Of course, I had a 20% off coupon and a $5 off coupon. I love that it's a chrome look to the brushes. Now, this is the cheek brush and I love this. This will be actually good for contouring for the cheek, for under the eye. I love the brushes. Oh, this is so soft. So this one is the dual fiber face brush and that's the first one. I think this will be perfect for powdering under the eyes or for highlights. It's so soft. So this brush, of course, kind of fans out a little bit and it's very thin right here because this is the dual fiber part and it seems to be more of a fuller brush right in the middle section, as you can see. I don't know, this is really pretty. It feels really soft. The next brush is the angled shadow brush and it is an angled brush. This will probably definitely be good for blending the outer V, even for like some powder. And this is the Peace of Resistance. The reason why I bought this was because it came with another base shadow brush and this is like my favorite brush. I have it. Where are you, buddy? I used you today. So this is the base shadow brush on the core collection, I want to say. And this is the base shadow brush in the limited edition collection. So I have two now. Yay! I absolutely love this brush. This is great for applying concealer. It's great for applying a nice brush of color all over the lid. It's perfect for blending that outer V. It is perfect for the brow highlight. It is perfect for highlights anywhere around the face. It is just a perfect little brush. The final brush on here is an eyeliner brush and it is an angled eyeliner brush. It looks like it'll be great for pushing in color when I do um, more of a powdered eyeliner and I could probably even use it for my brows because I love angled brushes for my brows. So super, super, super excited. I think this set would be a perfect gift for someone that is starting up with makeup or someone that really loves brushes but doesn't know like where to begin. Um, actually, these are all pretty much staple kind of brushes. You need something to help blend out your eyeshadows. You need something for all over the face and powders, for your cheeks, for bronzing, for whatever you needed. This, is, this looks like a great multitasking brush including for a foundation because I have used most of the real technique brushes for foundation and they work beautifully um, and I just think this is a great overall set for $29.99 you get five brushes which are very great quality this is just the limited edition design I don't know if maybe they'll come out with maybe another set with different colors maybe but I absolutely of course I'm gonna gravitate to the silver so yeah, that's pretty much it for my Bed Bath & Beyond haul. I hope you guys liked this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.